Well, we're talking turmeric this morning. We use a lot of ingredients here in the Virginia This Morning Kitchen. Turmeric, though, is one that has a lot of wonderful health benefits. Christy O here to tell Absolutely. us more about that. Yeah, so we're going to check this rice while we are. I want to talk That's to you a little bit more. Hour, yes, yeah. and if you can take a look, it smells. That beautiful color. Cheryl, can you smell that? Oh, my gosh. Yes, I can. It is That's so fabulous. fragrant. So fragrant. All right. So a lot of great health benefits with turmeric, um, specifically anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. That's a really big thing, even tumor reducing. Um, and I wanted to share a quick story while we plate. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the okay. rice. We're going to put that out. we got out. some warming in our Absolutely. oven. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. So the magic kitchen here on Virginia this morning. We've already plated <laughs> Ta -da. it. Ta-da. <laughs> so here's our finished rice product. Um, but along the lines of the turmeric, we, there's also a very famous turmeric milk mm -hmm. that I've made. Um, and I had a really bad cough. I swear I took it one night. The next day, the cough was gone. So since then, I have definitely even more so been onto this so turmeric. In your kit. mind, it's miracle. It is a miracle <laughs> ginger-like spice. <laughs> we like ginger-like spice, and this is beautiful because you've got your rice with the turmeric. It's got cashews, it's Absolutely. got raisins, yep. and the beautiful yellow color and in the, the basmati rice. And the smell is so yeah. fragrant. And here, so while we've been um, running Virginia this morning, we've been cooking this amazing roast. So this is a Moroccan fig roast. We're going to go ahead and plate this on. And while we're doing that, I'm going to tell you what we did. Yeah, how did you fix this? Because so, it looks yes. beautiful. So what we did first was we made the spice rub, which also includes a lot of similar spices that are here found in the rice. Mm -hmm. And then we grilled it, or I should really say kind of flash fried it. And that's fork tender. It. It's about to it fall is, apart. It's, yeah, it's, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's literally so tender. It is going to fall apart as we take it out. So we first fried it in the pan so that all the flavors kind of seep Look into it. Oh, my goodness. And then you can cook this in a Dutch oven, or I used a crock pot, and actually um, in Morocco they would use a clay pot. Mm -hmm. And so then you add your figs, you cook it with like onion, it almost looks like an onion jam. And you have uh, fig preserves, I use dried figs, dried prune, and they use a lot of those type of dried fruits in their meat dishes, which is not normal to what we do. We and this smells wonderful. A lot of people might smell. not be... Can they smell it at home? Yeah, they can. Here, you can wave <laughs> it out to them. But turmeric is like one of the main components of curry. Absolutely. So I'm glad you brought that up too, Cheryl. So actually, my husband's roots are from Pakistan, so mm -hmm. we've always been accustomed to eating turmeric from that. And then even more so, as I've learned the health benefits, we're learning to incorporate it into even more things. And using it fresh is more is new to us too. We've always used the powder form, but amazing, delicious. And we love the smell, love the taste, and definitely love the health benefits. Oh, yeah, and you got some good gravy going in there, too. Absolutely. <laughs> so this has, sorry, sure, I don't want to get that on you. So this also, so the sauce also has its um, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of chicken broth, and I actually also add a little bit of coconut. Mm. And can I just tell you, um, when you eat this, you don't want to stop. <laughs> and as you mentioned, you had the coconut milk in the, the rice as well. Absolutely. So but in the rice. But it doesn't give it that coconutty flavor. But you're not really getting the coconutty flavor. It's really just kind of a creamy, nice, light rice. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing. All right, Cheryl, you ready? I am. I think it's time to plate it. Oh, okay. And before we do anything, you know, we always want to have some fresh parsley, just a beautiful finish <laughs> it's raining on the parsley. Dish. Yeah, it's raining <laughs> parsley here in Virginia this morning. We've got some for you at home. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. Beautiful plates there. Yes, absolutely. Only the best. <laughs> Only the best. I brought for our dessert, friends. right? Oh, we're going to have lots the of king dessert. King cake resurfaces. <laughs> I want to do a little quality control over there. We're we'll going to need to. Where do we? Yeah, let's, let's uh, see. Can we throw these things too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. Probably don't All want right, to. All right, so let's do two plates, and yeah. then I want to tell we, you. We got the cake. Oh, there we go. Cake is covered. Look, here are all my friends now that it's time to eat. <laughs> well, you know, whenever you have a finished dish, you have friends. That is this right. All right, delicious. we're going to go for the big, the big oh, spot here. Okay. There we go. That's what okay. the kids at home call a princess bite. Yeah. I know my friends like to share plates, mm -hmm. so we're going to really and take this one. And these plates are cute, too. Thank you. This Thank looks you. delightful. Thank and you. And you pass this recipe on to us so we can put it on our roster. Absolutely. That's another great point we did. Okay. All right, She's let me one. get Cheryl. She does. She's good. Does she have a full? Now you've got more rice than you can imagine at your I know. house, Christy, from <laughs> touching this recipe. We do have a lot of rice. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit more of the juice. Now while you guys taste this, mm. I want to bring the viewer's attention over here right. to this cake. It's actually a Lebanese dessert, but also okay. turmeric. So, so delicious. And the only spice in the cake, aside from sugar, flour, Turmeric. Turmeric. It gives it a beautiful yellow beautiful flavor. Beautiful yellow, and that's another great thing about turmeric, the color that it gives. But mm -hmm. this is absolutely delicious. It's got a little kick, right? A little 
little cook. I little love cook. It's, it's so little spicy. The Moroccan the spices. Comes from the so it's from all of the cumin that's in it. The turmeric doesn't really have kick. It has mm -hmm. lots of flavor. It yeah. also has crushed red mm -hmm. pepper. It has curry powder. And yes, oh, this recipe is online. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here we have We've got our uh, pine nuts on the cake. And it's topped with pine nuts. Oh. All right, sure. Let me help you. What can I do so you can taste? I'm, I'm going to taste it. We're going to say you goodbye to yourself. our viewers. Is it so Tom? That, that kind of tastes like cornbread. Isn't it amazing though? Yes. It's like a light. So it's not like a cake like we're mm -hmm. used to eating or an argyle cupcake. A little different than that. Mm -hmm. But this is more like is a it, less sweet well, here. See. Yeah, thank go ahead. Christy, it's interesting. And thank you for watching Virginia this morning. We'll be back here tomorrow and Happy I'll see Mardi you later Gras. today for CBS 6 News at noon. Yeah, it's a consistency of cornbread, cornbread but sweet. But it's sweet, but right? sweet. Like yeah. an olive oil cake. Isn't it good? Um, I'm enthralled with this. Did you love it? And we cooked it in a crock pot. It doesn't get better than that.